guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and for today's video I'm going to show you how I painted this jellyfish on top of an acrylic pour painting that I did. I didn't include the clips of me um, actually doing the acrylic pour painting just because the video was getting a little long. But all I did for that was I mixed my paint and Elmer's glue a one to one ratio and I added a little bit of water water and Dawn dish soap mixed together into each paint just to thin it out a little bit and I started with black and layered like different blues and used a hair dryer just to blow those blues and blacks up towards the top of the canvas if that makes sense and it kind of gave it like this cool looking gradient effect. As far as the jellyfish goes I went ahead and outlined the shape that I wanted and um, this is this is good just to determine how big you want the jellyfish to be and I'm now filling it in just to give it like a base layer and I just used red and white for that. After I filled it in good I went ahead and started on the tentacles I think that's what they're called and for this part I used um, a larger flat uh, brush and I just went ahead and layered different colors and just made them a little squiggly and um, different lengths and then for some of them I went ahead and took a smaller paintbrush and I made them a little bit thicker just by layering like for this one specifically blue and white together just to add a little bit of different like texture to it and I did this for a couple of them and um, yeah so I'm just gonna keep on layering these tentacles together and we'll just wait for that top part to dry taking like the lighter shades that I'm using in this painting and I'm putting that on the right of the jellyfish the right if you're watching this video it's your right and uh, I'm gonna be putting the cooler tones towards the left side of the jellyfish and I did this because I want the right side to look like the Sun speaking down on it like it's facing upwards and I'm using cooler tones on the left side that way it looks more like it's facing downwards if that makes sense that was just kind of the look that I was going for and I went ahead and just did another base of the colors outlining where I want each color to be and then I'm taking my red again using a little paintbrush and I'm just going to go back over the outline of my jellyfish just to redefine the lines and everything and I want my red to be like the color that's going to stand out throughout the jellyfish and I'm also going to take that red after I finish outlining it and I'm going to like cut the jellyfish up into different sections and this is just going to help like break up the colors a little bit and just add a little bit of dimension to the jellyfish and as I'm doing that red I'm kind of fading it into each like section that way there's no solid lines and it'll look a lot better when I go back in with that final coat of paint afterwards and um and finish off the, the jellyfish when I do that.
going to be my final layer of paint for the top of the jellyfish. So on the right side, I'm just going in with a little bit of yellow and white and filling in that first section. And I'm going back in with the red too, just to fade that red line into the yellow. That way there's no harsh lines throughout the jellyfish. And the white is just going to help, or the white and the yellow is just going to help highlight just the top of the, or that side of the jellyfish. And then I'm going to keep doing this with the rest of the colors so like for the second part I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of like yellow and purple and I'm gonna start filling that section in and then I'm gonna go back in with the red just to fade it back into that color that way there's no harsh lines and I do this for the whole thing so then I'll go in with like blue and green and end with like that dark blue color just to add a couple of little highlights to the right side of the jellyfish. I don't think the camera's picking up on all of them, but white just helps to highlight certain parts of the jellyfish. And then after this, I'm gonna go back in with that bigger paintbrush and just keep on outlining some more tentacles.
happened here. I must have been missing a clip, but pretty much I just kept using that big brush and I just kept layering different colors just to create more tentacles. I wanted to look a full, um, I didn't want to see so much of the background peeking through the tentacles, if that makes sense, especially towards the top. It was okay towards like the bottom of them, but towards the top I wanted them to look thick and then towards the bottom more flowy. And I'm just, like I said, just keep on layering and you can do this as pretty much as much as you want until you think it looks full enough and you want to make sure they're all sticking out as different lines that way it's not so uniform and yeah I want to add too before I finish up the painting that I didn't include this in this video but I did end up going in with a little bit of like a metallic silver and white using that little paintbrush and I outlined a couple of the cells that I created with the acrylic pour and I made little bubbles that way it just added like another thing to the background and I just you know sketched out different sizes and some I used more silver some I used more white and I just created like little bubbles throughout the background and I just thought it looked really cool I think you'll see it on the like the first photo when you click on this video um, the completed look but overall I really like how it turned out if you guys like this please let me know in the comments if you'd want to see more videos like this and I hope you guys will subscribe and be back for the next video but thank you very much for watching